Can I, is it wise to ask questions about this or should I just like keep? Oh, you can ask questions, just not during the procedure. Oh, okay. Um, so I, like I'm, I'm trying to feel my way more through this and I'm like thinking about the words and stuff like that. Oh, no, you're not supposed to think about the words. No, no, well, you're supposed to just state the words and take what comes without filtering for correctness. Right. And that's what I'm doing. Okay. But I basically noticed something. I noticed that what I felt cuz it's like the words come in and I'm I have I process the words and then locate the feeling. But like this idea of like it's true it's untrue. I feel like that could take two different forms. And let me know if I shouldn't even think about this. But, <laughs> but like, it's true, it's untrue. Could be viewed as like a, like, you know, the, whatever I'm feeling here is true. And then like, whatever I'm feeling here is untrue. But the untrue itself can either be classified in the light of like, no, this is like this feeling isn't true. Or it could be it could be like a feeling where I'm I'm feeling it's untrue, but like I'm feeling myself like being desperate trying to grasp onto this feeling of it isn't true. And the, the, it almost feels like as I'm do as I'm doing the it's true, it's true. I'm like ramping up this, I'm feeling this ramp up of feeling. And as I'm feeling it, like there's like, there's like this like idea where it's like this, like towards the end, it's like, why am I feeling this way? But like the untrue, it's also like, why am I even wanting this to be untrue? Does that make sense? Yeah, that's called filtering for correctness. <laughs> that whole mess. But isn't there interpretation in here? I feel like there's. I I have to listen to the words. I have to no, interpret. It. You, no, you're filtering for correctness. Just take what you get. Much simpler. But what does that? What does that mean, though? That means whatever surfaces immediately upon your completing this instruction, that's what you take. But you remember, you may remember I said this is like a Rorschach test. It's not about correct or incorrect. It's about surfacing what's in there. No, I get that. But even a Rorschach test, I have to look at the Rorschach and like, mm -hmm. I basically like, there's a, correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like even with a, in a Rorschach, I'm like searching for meaning. Nah, it's wrong. You don't do any searching. You take what you get. But what, I don't. I, that part I'm confused with. That that doesn't make any, like, should it, like, does that mean, like, because I could listen to you and, like, just, like, not barely try to interpret it. That's right. But that isn't, I don't, I'm so confused. And that's the indoctrination of the thinking mind again. I will tell you there are times in this or other procedures where you get no mental understanding from a step, but suddenly a feeling surfaces. You don't know why. It just does. You don't need to have a mental comprehension. Just do the step, take what comes, even if nothing comes, and move to the next step. This might be the time for you to run gold key release on gold key release. It just, it does, like, it, I'm so confused. That's all right. You what? could do a gold key release on confusion. <laughs> it doesn't need to be mentally understood to work. All you have to do is take what surfaces and go to the next step. There are times where when you say it's untrue, it's untrue. You feel bullshit. It really is true. That's a correct or accurate or acceptable outcome for that step. Right, but that, inquire, that requires interpretation. Not really. If you just go, it's untrue, it's untrue, and you feel like, nah, it really feels like it's true, that's what you take. I 
I feel like this, I could be wrong. I feel like this is one of those instances where like how remember how I, I still call somatic exercises like stretches. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I I feel like when I say interpretation, like it could be that I'm doing the correct thing. I'm just using the wrong verbiage. Is that possible? If you're stating the instructions in your mind to yourself or just responding to the instructions, you take what you get. That's as simple as that. The wording, if you want to know, experiment with different wording and notice that you get a different effect. The wording has been streamlined for effect. It maybe could be made better. I've been improving at odds, odd, odd times, but just take what you get. Don't worry about interpretation. You can't do it wrong because this isn't about being right. It's about surfacing whatever gets triggered by each step. Um. Whatever that feeling is right there, <laughs> give a name to it. <laughs> and write it down and run a gold key release on that. I just all right. Um can I ask you a different question? If, I think so. Okay. If I'm when I'm talking with somebody and I'm responding. That does require interpretation. Not and as an extra step. It's an automatic internal action. It's an automatic internal action. Yeah. Okay. So I'm talking with somebody and like they're like, How are you doing today? And I'm like, mm-hmm. No, not too well. Like mm-hmm. like I'm not trying like isn't there a part in there where I have to like scan myself really quickly and, and like Oh, like, how am I feeling? Oh, okay. Yeah, you can do that as an extra step. But in actuality, the response is immediate. Sometimes the extra step actually distorts your response. It makes it inauthentic. Because it goes, it's tied in with, will they approve of this answer? Maybe I should look closer to one that's more acceptable. All this is just extra steps. You don't need that. That's the entryway for in, inauthenticity. It happens immediately. If you ask me how I am, something immediately goes, Dung. you touch something by the question. Now, if I don't want to answer that question, I may scan some more. But actually, if you're going to be just spontaneous, you don't need to do the extra scanning. It is Take what comes. Okay. Take what comes. Okay, mm-hmm. that makes a little bit more sense. So, like, if I'm talking with somebody and they're like, how are you? And I'm like, uh, you know, like, and I'm able to do that quickly without mm-hmm. the scanning. Mm-hmm. Like, that's what you want me to do in Gold Key Release. Yeah, that's right. No extra effort. No extra interpreting meanings. No extra thinking. All that's filtering for correctness. Whatever comes. Much simpler that way, and it's the way it's intended. Next time you cycle through, if there is need for a next time, it won't be the same. It'll right. be a different surfacing. One, one question on addition to this. Mm-hmm. There is... There, okay, okay, I, I, I think I got what it is. There is a level of interpretation in insofar as listening enough that Mm -hmm. you understand the actual sentence itself. So like if I like if so, so, so here's a good question. I can in I've done this sometimes where somebody's talking to me and I zone out to the point that I'm like, I'm sorry, what'd you say again? Yeah, that's right. Your attention isn't present. So, so I think, okay, so this, this is, okay, this, that, that's where I'm getting confused. Okay. So am I zoning out to the point where I'm letting the words come in and not paying attention to the words and letting them have an effect on me? 
Or no, you, you just pay attention. You just don't add any extra effort to understanding or getting a correct answer. I pay attention enough that I understand the words that you're saying. Not even that. I would tell you in Crystal Crown Procedure, some of the sequences don't make grammatical sense. That doesn't matter. They still trigger stuff to come up. Interesting. Okay. Just, just listen, attend, and take what comes. This is like, that's intense. Yeah. So these were like, I'm not, I'm almost not even, I'm paying attention just barely enough and I'm letting the procedure just do its work on me. I'm almost like an active participant. Oh, you are an active participant. But, but like, <clears throat> but how am I active if I'm not interpreting? Like I'm just, I'm letting, it feels yeah, like no. what you're saying is I'm letting the words work on me. That gets back to the indoctrination of the thinking mind I talked about earlier. Right. You're demonstrating it. You're wanting to know the interpretation. You know what? Just listen. That's all. Just put full attention, not even just an F attention, full attention. The more attention you give, the more it will resonate in you. You don't need to interpret to give attention. Those are two different processes. Interpretation is based on memory. Attention goes into experience not knowing. I think I think I understand what you mean. I okay. honestly I feel like I'm like even what you said right there, like I'm not interpreting that. I'm just responding. Yeah, that's it. But like so I think I think what it is is I still feel though there's an automatic interpretation, but That's it, okay. I think I think I think what I'm understanding here is I may be using. I gained a lot of insight from this, mm -hmm. where it's like, there's something my body is doing automatically that could be considered interpretation, but like I don't need to add extra effort to that. It's just doing something, and I, I just need to let this automatic process the same as how you said something to me and I'm not really thinking about what it is I'm going to say next and putting effort into it. I need to do that. Is that, is that a good? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just, and I'm sorry. I just, I really wanted to make sure I understood that. I know. So you could run a process on wanting to make sure you understand. <laughs> but I, I don't know. I feel this like is looking, you know what this is. This is performance anxiety. Well, there is a certain part of interpretation that in people that wants them to like, because there could be somebody offering a version of what you're doing that like isn't good, that doesn't work, and their interpretation can save them from needing to do that. Does that make? Is that an active? Is that a good statement? Tell me, were you confused or clear when you asked that question? Both. Yeah, okay, so you were confused. Clarity is the space that contained your confusion. You're trying to get at it from the thinking mind. If you just do the steps as given, they will teach you the ins and outs of the process. Even if you do it wrong the first time, if you keep cycling through, it will clean up and come into focus. Trying to make it make sense to yourself is referring to what you already know. This will teach you something different. Looky, how do choreographers come up with new movements? Oh, you're not you're not that kind of dancer. But maybe you are. They, how do they come up with new movements? They look at other, they just no, feel it. If they're looking at other, that's not new. Okay, that's so they're a rehash. Just, they work through it. That's right, experientially. Yeah. They don't know ahead of time. Okay. That makes sense. Um, yeah, I just, I'll, I'll, I'll think or not think about that. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, either way, doesn't I'll, matter. Run gold key release on some of those aspects I marked out here.
Okay. All right. Um, that sounds good. All right. I think, okay. I think that is all I have for today.